Okay, it's time for another DVD review. And this review is a classic 80s drama. Well, to me, it's a classic. I mean, it's not one of the big movies of the 80s. But I like it anyway. Uh, it's 1984's Angel. Uh, this is from the DVD of The Guilty Pleasures, 1980s collection. I needed to review these other films too, but right now we're going to concentrate on Angel. Yeah, if you can see it right, if you can see it right there. Angel's about a uh, a girl who goes through private school. Her real, her real name is Molly. But she, at daytime, uh, she goes to the private school, you know, like a typical teenager. And but at night, she's a hooker. Yes, because her spoiler alert. I'm gonna say this: for her parents abandoned her years ago. I know the mother left out on her, and her father walked out on her, or whatever. So Angel is taking care, basically taking care of herself. Where's her? Uh, well, you know, while she's a hooker at night, she does have a uh, these street of. Uh, how should I say this? She's got family, but, uh, you know, there are people, well, mostly her street family is, a uh, her friend, uh, played by Dick Sean, who you might know from the It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, uh, he plays the transvestite May. She's like a, a father, not a mother to him, to her, basically. And, uh, Yeah, Rory Rory Calhoun plays plays Kit Carson, a cowboy actor, a rodeo former rodeo star, I guess. She's like a father to her. Basically, Molly at night when she's angel, she's a pro angel. She's a prostitute that scored money to you know get her way through life. And but uh, the big plot of the of this movie. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> Let me. Drink my water, get my throat clear. Like I said, the the main plot about Angel is about this uh, hooker killer played by what was it? I forget what is his name. Yeah, the killer played by John. I can't pronounce his last name. You know how I am. I'll try to pronounce it. Dyer. D I E H L. And, oh yeah, Susan Tyrell plays a Solly, a girl named Solly Mosler. She's a basically a Angel's landlord, but she's kind of a, kind of a kooky character who can live with the pain, and she, and she always has these, uh, brickering fights. Brickering, brickering fights, I'm sorry. She, she sometimes, uh, goes at it with, uh, you know, she sometimes goes at it with uh, May, uh, Dick Sean's character. So May and Sally, they kind of, May and Sally, uh, they're kind of at odds ends. But they do kind of get along. They do kind of like each other. Also, uh, the girl who played Tina in Nightmare on Elm Street uh, plays uh, one of the hookers that gets killed by the killer. Oh, and Cliff yeah, Gorman plays Lieutenant Andrews. He's the... Lieutenant cop who's got to find his killer and warn off the hookers. He doesn't know Angel that she's really a schoolgirl, or maybe he does, but he really doesn't know that she doesn't have any parents. But later in the movie, you find out. Angel, I say this is one of the one of the awesome cool action drama films of the nineteen eighties from nineteen eighty four. I never really heard of heard of. I'm sorry, I never really saw or heard of this movie till like a couple years ago. Maybe I have when I was a kid, but as far as my mind goes, you know, because I do have a photographic memory, memory, thinking about all the, thinking about all the films and movies I watched as a young age, like three or four on HBO, you know, the dirtiest channels. But I never came across Angel. Maybe I have. I just can't be sure. And of course, they made a sequel to Angel. Two, three, and they didn't had a who played Angel. I forget. Oh yeah, yeah, Donna Wilkes. Donna Wilkes, who plays Angel in the first movie, she was in Angel in the sequels. From what I heard, the sequels weren't really good, but a lot of sequels aren't good anyway.
anyway, check out Angel from 1984. They, this movie has a lot of cool scenes I like. What was it? Uh, oh, yeah, this uh, kid, I think his name is Wayne. He has a crush on Angel. He wants to ask her out, but she refuses him. In one scene, he's only in two scenes of the movie. In one scene, he thinks by offering her some condoms. This is when the school finds out she's a hooker because of a school uh, jock bully. But she walks away, you know, in disbelief. And he sort of feels bad for what he's done. He just, you know, he really liked Angel. He couldn't get with her. Yeah, this uh, jock bully who wants, who thinks, who doesn't know she's a hooker yet. Who knows why her name is Molly. And she wants, you know, to have sex with her. He refuses. Later on, he when he's riding his, riding in his car with his buddies, he sees Angel Molly, aka Angel, on the street, and you know that's when the whole school finds out she's a hooker. Hold on a minute. Yeah, so that's when the the school now no, the school now knows that Molly is a hooker by night, or you know she's a hooker. Now there was a scene where uh, the school the school jock bully uh basically at when the Sorry, let me start over. You know how I, I am. When the school jock bully and his buddies, when they kidnap Angel or just force her to get in the car or they want to have sex with her, she uh, takes out her gun and threatens to kill them. But I think she leaves the gun behind. I forget for what reason. I gotta go back and watch, watch this movie again to make sure. No, 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 she doesn't leave it behind. I'm sorry. They, they, she him and the other teacher who likes Molly, they bust into her locker and they find the gun in the locker because he tells her that, oh, she's a hooker. You don't know Molly Jensen that well. I think that was the last name. I could be wrong. And basically, basically, uh, I forget who plays the teacher in the movie, but she's, uh, she likes Molly. Uh, she doesn't know, she doesn't know why she doesn't participate, participate in the uh, school activities because I think she uh, told, tells her teacher that her mother has a stroke or, or whatever but basically she just she's covering her up for, for her she's covering her up for, from her hooker lifestyle you know what I'm saying at night time yeah she doesn't want to know the school and the she doesn't want to let the school know and the teacher that she's really a hooker Making her making her way through life in college by you know being a prostitute, but there's also funny scenes in the movie. There's also some bad scenes where uh, Angel discovers that her friend gets cut up in the bathtub, and when she sees her friend, she just loses it. It is a powerful scene if you ever seen this movie. Another cool scene is where uh, oh yeah, the other cop who was trying to pretend to be uh you know wanting sex from Angel but she, Angel knows that he's really an undercover cop not the Lieutenant Andrews the other guy and then that's when you see uh May Dick Sean's character uh tells him the I forget he says something funny uh, what do you say I don't you practice your dick with your mom or something like that basically telling him to fuck off this is hilarious you know yeah Dick Sean he was a funny comedian. It's, he was a funny comedian. So he is sad that he uh, died of a heart attack in 1987. When he was, I heard he died of a heart attack while he was performing on stage, and everybody thought it was his act, which it wasn't. He was also he. When they did that roast for Tommy Chong back in 1985, you know the Comedy Central roast. Oh, it was not Comedy Central. It's just a roast of Tommy Chong. He told a funny joke. Uh, you can search for it on YouTube. I forget what it is, but uh. Yeah, Sean was, I think Sean was a good comedian. I, just, I didn't really know he was, knew he knew who he was when I was a kid, you know, because I was real young. I knew all, some comedians while I was growing up, like Ronnie Dangerfield, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's just, Angel is actually, actually a good 1984 action drama. Let me see if I can read this for you on the back. Orphan 15 year old Molly Stewart. Okay, her last name is Stewart. I'm sorry if I said Jensen. I'm thinking about somebody else. 
15 year old Molly Stewart, Donna Wilkes, is a sweet looking honor student at a private girls' school. By day, but by night, she works the streets of Hollywood as a prostitute named Angel on a personal quest for vengeance. Vengeance? This film classic launched the popular 80s Angel film franchise. Like I said, the first one was the better movie anyway, but. Yeah, so check out Angel. Uh, Donna Wilkes, she was good as Angel. I haven't seen the other ones who plays. I haven't seen the other Angel, Angel sequels with the different actress. I forget who plays Angel in the other movies, but Donna Wilkes was good as Angel or Molly in that movie. <clears throat> so yeah, check out Angel from 1984. And before I go, the, I can't, I don't know how to upload the music video or song on YouTube, but uh, the main scene, the main song from the movie is You Got Something Sweet by the Adelies. You got what I need, need, need. Something sweet. You got what I need. Yeah. If you watch the movie, if you listen to that song, that is a cool 80s song. That song has been one of the best forgotten lost songs of the 80s, in my opinion. Opinion. But yeah, check out Angel from 1984. I'm, I'm going to end this video because, you know, I'm just messing up my words again and again and again and again and again. But anyway, check out Angel and please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Please subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Anyway, that's it. I'm out.